guys, what's up to another Who Would Win book? This is not one of my own, this is one by Gary Pilata. Today I'm gonna read to you Ultimate Reptile Rumble. Now let's get in. Who would win? Ultimate Reptile Rumble. But so first off, if you've read the book, you know this is gonna be like a crack. So, for the first fight, we're gonna have a Green Mamba for Still a Monster. Then we're gonna have Chuck Walla versus Amphi. Benian, Amphisbenian, Bertalons vs. Snapping Turtle, uh, Gavial vs. Sea Iguana, Inland Typen vs. Skink, and Box Turtle vs. Sphinx. Then the winners of each round. And then round three is a round robin because this round is starting off with mm, 12 instead of 16 because guess what? There's going to be four of them that aren't going to be in this one. And the championship is. And then we have the ultimate reptile one. So let's get on to the ones who are not going to be in this book. First, we have the saltwater crocodile. It's sim here. If it, it's simple. If we allow the saltwater crocodile in this book, it'll win. So the ferocious creature's largest reptile: swim, jump out of the water, and move quickly. But we'll say what they'll say for now. Then we have the leatherback turtle. It's the largest turtle. Weighing up to 1,500 pounds. Yeah, it's not fair for it to fight a lizard or a snake, so it cannot. The reticulated python. It also cannot be in this book because it's like the largest thing in the world. How could a how could a how could it ever fight a flower pot snake that is as small as your little finger? And then we have the Komodo dragon already has its book, which already has its own book, which is Komodo Dragon vs. King Cobra, which yet I have not read to you. Still trying to find it because I don't know where it is. I have. Then we have Green Mamba vs. Gilomar. Let's get started with our fight. Then who won? The Green Mamba. If you read this book and you're watching this video, then you are a legend. Then we have Chuck Wall vs. Amphisbenian. So the Amphisbenian down here and up here we have the Chuck Wall. And who won? The Chuck Walla wins. And then we have Fertilance and Snapping Turtle. Who won? Fertilance. Look at how creepy that is. Then we have Gavio vs. Seagorn. Who won? The Gavio wins. Alright, now it's on to some others that would be in this book. A gecko? But oh, look at it. Some geckos can walk upside down on glass surfaces. But this should be in a color pad pageant, not a fight. Then we have the Totoro, which has like a third eye. Yeah. The, 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 ancestors, the ancestors of Rinchocephalia? Yeah, their ancestors live with dinosaurs. Alright, now back to this. Next up, we have the Inland Typhon here versus the Skink. It looks like a skunk. If you if you are colorblind, never watch the video. Yeah, if you're colorblind and you don't know what color the skink is and you get it confused with the inland type and, and look at a split tongue, you could get a psychologist. But uh, then, so the inland type and win. Yeah. Then we have the box turtle here and the green sea turtle. Why is a sea turtle in this? So the box turtle is scared because the green turtle is bigger than it. So the green sea turtle wins. Now we're on to round two. We have green mamba versus chuck walla. So the chuck walla wins. I thought green mamba was going to win. And then we have fertilance versus gavial. Which gavial is one of the humans. And then the gavial wins. And then finally we have on round two we have inland hybrid versus green sea turtle. Which the inland hybrid actually won. Alright, so we're on to our round robin, which is our third round. Yeah, that'll fax some game holes up underneath. So let me read this one. Oh no, we started with 12 reptiles. Due to the math, there are only 3 reptiles left. In a bracketed tournament with 16 competitors, we would have had the reptile final four. We now need a round robin type of championship finals. So a round robin is when everybody in the bracket has to play everyone else in the bracket. So we use letters instead of numbers. So A is the Chuckwalda, B is the Gavial, 
and C is the inland Titan. A will fight B, A will fight C, and B will fight C. The reptile with the best record will win. May the best reptile win. So next, so for our round three, we have Chuck Wall versus Gaviel to start it off. And who wins? And who wins? The Gaviel wins. Smack! Then next, we have Inland Typen with Chuck Wall. Alright, Inland Typen wins. Alright, final match. Round three, match three. We have the Gaviel versus the Inland Typen. Two one, Gaviel wins. I'm gonna read this final page to you guys. Gaviel sees the inland type in. The snake would love to slither o over and put its fangs into the Gaviel. The snake is too slow. The Gaviel quickly turns its head and one of its teeth smacks the inland type in. The inland type in is wounded. Gaviel wins. Okay, this is one way the competition might have ended. Write your own ending or think of a new version of an ultimate rumble book. So right now I'm working on my own version of the ultimate dinosaur rumble. Like I'm making my own version. And in this it's going to have Allosaurus, T-Rex. This is going to be a Dinocheirus. This is going to be a, a Diceratops. And then it's going to have Raptor, but it's going to be dumb. So basically, there you go. We have the ultimate reptile rumble. On the front, we have the Green Mamba, the Skink, the Gaviel, and the Seagull. So that is it. And for our next video, we are going to do another fight on the channel. But this one's not going to be any ordinary because before we do, we're going to change our channel name again. We're changing it to battles, changing it to the dino battles. So our, f so our fight is going to be, rep is going to be the, uh, hold on, it's going to be the Allosaurus versus Metricant, it's going to be Albertosaurus versus Metricanthosaurus. Cast your votes, who's going to win? <laughs> yeah, that's our next video. We're also going to change our channel name to dino battles. So we'll see you later.